Hi. <clears throat> Damn, that um, came out really quiet. Hi. Uh, my name is Charlotte. Charlotte. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly in English. Fuck English, to be honest. Um, and I have a question. Actually, like, first, before the question. Uh, shit, it's really dark. Hey, here I am again. Um, we are on our way to buy an energy drink because I'm addicted. And, uh, well, the body is addicted. Whatever. I have a question. Why the fuck are all the men so fucking depressed? Like, for real. Like, Garrett, um, Grail, Femto, Aurier... Caliban, like literally every single what a fucking horrible light um, every single person who fronted before me was like damn I wanna die damn life sucks <coughs> fuck uh, okay well the store is uh, closed what do we do what time is it What what time is it Oh yeah, I can still go to the other store. Anyway, um, every single one of them was like, everything is horrible and I want to die. And Caliban, like, after he ended the previous vlog, he was like sitting on, uh, like, on our bed and just like venting to our boyfriend. And he was like, hey... I want to bash my head against the wall because that's something we do when we're like super distressed, like physically bash our head against the wall. And, uh, wait, hello? Do you, do you have a collar on? Look at him baby and now all of them, now all of them are coming because i did pss, pss. yes hello they're meowing at me babies i'm sorry i don't have food damn well okay no i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm a disappointment i'm a disappointment um yeah sorry for the for getting sidetracked uh basically like earlier a girl came up to us and she was like hey did you see a cat uh she described the cat like a gray fur uh gray creamy fur whatever with a blue or pink collar and um she asked if we saw it and we were like no we didn't and uh she said that like hey if you see it can you can you like give me a call uh he escaped and um he's really important to me blah 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 and we we're like yeah sure we took her number and uh now now we're on the lookout for a uh, collared cat and the cat i saw earlier i thought it was the cat uh apparently not anyway so he was uh, sitting on the bed, just suffering, and he had no idea how to uh, cheer himself up. And our boyfriend was like, "Hey, what if you, um, what if you read something? What if you drew something? What if you watch something?" And Caliban was like, "No, I want to die." And like. Like, with all due respect to Caliban, like, um, stop being so edgy. Life is not that bad. Like, yeah, things didn't go, didn't go according to plan today. I get it. It's upsetting. But, but like, chill, dude. Like, chill. Uh, it's not that bad. Um, the streetlights are killing me. Like, fuck. <laughs> They're ruining the video. Whatever. Uh, so now I'm fronting uh, Charlotte. 
Uh, I think I'm a soother. I don't really know labels that well. Um, I show up whenever uh, the system is like super, super upset, but like to be moral support as like a, an emotional anchor. And that's, that's what I do. That's my role. And uh, I was needed right now, apparently. I mean, not surprising, considering the circumstances. Here we are at the store again. Uh, what did we want? Energy drink. Um, and I'm planning to be the one fronting for work tomorrow because, uh, well, it's work. It can be a little bit, a little bit overwhelming emotionally even though we don't really do much like we do back office at the bookstore so it's not that bad really wait a second I need to pay for the thing Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Here is. Uh, well. Jesus. Um, I'll, I'll probably be the one fronting for work tomorrow. Uh, I'll probably be the one filming tomorrow if there will be anything to film. Um, nice to meet you all. And, and uh, yeah, uh, let's see if I have anything else to say. I don't want to cut the video too soon. Um, mm, mm, brain not working. Fuck. Uh, uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Um, yeah, no, I think I said everything that I wanted to say. I think, I think, I'm not sure. Yeah, I just kind of complained about everybody else being depressed and suicidal and grumpy and annoying. Well, I'm just like, you know, an angel. I mean, I have my moments, but I mean, everybody does. We're all human. Yeah, okay, yeah. I said everything that I wanted to say. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, I, I hope. I mean, I hope. I hope that uh, we can film consistently every single day, but our life is kind of boring, so... Uh, but we do get rambly, so... There is a possibility I'll film tomorrow, too. So, anyway, good night! Good morning, it's Charlotte again. Um, just woke up, well, yeah, no, I didn't just wake up. I woke up like half an hour ago. Um, got ready for work. Hopefully I won't be late because I kind of overslept. And... I wanted to tell you guys what I even do for work. Just give me a moment. Getting my usual... My usual cancer. My usual cancer. Got my Alive Out of Spite shirt. Uh, where do I even go? Wait, what, what, what? It's my first time going to work. 
like it's it's my first time fronting for work uh what do i do right this needed to figure out which bus stop i even need um so yeah uh i think yesterday i mentioned that we do back office at a bookstore uh which is basically it like if you if you summarize it that's that's basically what we do um but in more detail um in more detail we the the store right the store is not like a normal bookstore it's uh it's like a rehabilitatory kind of place for disabled people who can't fit into a normal job outside um so everybody who works there is disabled and uh you don't really get normal wages you you get you get how do you call it in english um it's more like an allowance rather than a paycheck to be honest like it's less than minimum wage it's basically slave labor but uh it does teach you some shit like it teaches you skills you can use later when you try to apply for a normal job and that's that's what we do yeah um our role in the store is to basically like i said back office we sit at a computerized station and we uh catalog and uh sort books for the store here's my bus sorry if it gets loud mm. so we catalog and sort books It's a good job. I mean for us because we hate people and we don't have any people skills at all. Uh So we really like going there. We really like working there. Um It's the first job we've ever had that we don't uh don't wake up to a panic attack when we think about going there so that's that's refreshing and yeah we really hope we do it so when we get there i mean i hope i hope I'll be able to film there i probably won't sadly uh maybe on my break maybe uh yeah so we'll see when I'll uh, get to film again bye for now well i am uh free from work i just finished my shift and i'm sorry for earlier this morning when i uh first started filming because we are usually not morning people like i was barely awake i was like just a zombie and uh yeah i'm in a good mood for a fucking change uh because i found out like we work 3 days a week Um and like I said earlier we don't really earn much 
because it's not I mean it is a real job but it's also not a real job you get me um, like it's a I don't know it's a real job but it uh, doesn't pay like a real job uh, but I found out that um, I can work more hours thus earn more money which is fucking great um, shit it's fucking windy it's fucking windy um, so yes I'm happy uh, currently we work three days a week uh, and I asked my supervisor if I can work more because I, I just like we were under the impression that three is the maximum amount of days Jesus Christ maximum amount of days we can work apparently not apparently it's the minimum no not really no it's not the minimum it's like the, the average the average it's the average amount of uh, days you can work a week and I asked my supervisor if I can work more days and he was like yeah sure you can work the whole week if you want and I'm like wait really and he's like yeah you can work six days a week if you feel like it and I'm like holy shit who do I speak to to make it happen and he's like your manager and I'm like well yeah it makes sense duh um, we will probably do that because uh, not only it not only is it more money um, it also like fills my week it gives me something to do it forces me to go out of the house because we uh, generally are hermits and rarely go out unless we have to my fucking hair um, and fuck whatever and uh, yeah so we don't go out unless we have to uh, we're really like I wouldn't I wouldn't say we're agoraphobic but we we have really bad anxiety uh, we really hate being outside we really hate being surrounded by people some of us are more social than others but like me uh, but uh, most of us prefer to stay at home and just do indoors uh, activities but uh, this job is really good for us because like I said it forces us to go out it forces us to interact with people it forces us to um, do something other than stare blankly at a wall and dissociate for eight hours and uh, it gives us routine it gives us a little bit of money a, a, li a little bit and we already like we're thinking ahead like we're thinking ahead because uh, when we like on the job interview when we went there the first time they were like oh you we are going to promote you really fast and we're just like oh I mean I'm flattered but I'm scared like I'm I'm just starting so please go easy on me and they were like okay fine but we are planning to get like climb climb up the chain and eventually manage the store it's an option we spoke to them about it uh, we won't count as an actual manager like the store won't be ours or anything we will be replacing the manager when they're absent which is a lot uh, for minimum wage like th that uh, position will pay us actual wages so we need to work a certain amount of time at the store before we can reach there uh, and until then we will be practicing what it's like to function like a real human being uh, which is the whole point of this job so uh, so yeah so I'm happy now to just figure out how to like 
rearrange our whole schedule to make it make it fit, make it happen. Uh, because um, I know we've been saying this for forever now, but half of our life is literally just therapy. We have a lot of appointments and meetings and stuff. Um, and we need to figure out how to like balance treatment and work and personal life, uh, which is a challenge of its own. So, um, so yeah, that's what that's what's happening currently. Uh, I am on my way home, and I'm gonna stop at at the store to buy an energy drink. You will see that a lot. You will see that a lot in our vlogs. We drink them a lot. We're fucking... We love them. We, we're addicted to them. Um, so, uh, so, yeah. See you sometime later. Hello. I am filming this outside because I couldn't risk my boyfriend hearing me talk about this. And our rooms are like right next to each other's. Um, I am going to do a thing. Uh, basically, fuck. Don't wanna, don't wanna ruin it. Um, basically, uh, we've known each other for around. 13 years, give or take, and, oh yeah, Garima front end, by the way, uh, Arima, just with the G in the beginning, G, the G stands for Ghoul, I'm Ghoul you Arima, anyway, so we've known each other for around 13 years, give or take, I'm bad at math, I'm sorry. Um, and we've been actually like actively a couple for a bit less than that, but still a long time. And uh, it kind of like cemented in our head that this is the person that we want to get away from me. Uh, this is the person that we want to spend the rest of our lives with and we don't want anyone else and uh, at the same time our relationship is very complicated so a proposal is going to be a bit a bit much even even though we've been together for forever uh, don't wanna like overwhelm him don't don't wanna like scare him or pressure him and yeah so like a step below that uh, I've decided well we've decided to gift him a promise ring um, with a little something extra just because and and I'm I think I'm gonna do it right now uh, because on their side, uh, uh, my my husband is fronting, and we like I thought that I, I'll be the one to do it with him specifically, even though it's meant for like the whole system, from the whole system to the whole system. Uh, but I wanted to be the one to do it, and. I really hope it will go well. I'm so fucking nervous. Uh, I'm. If he reacts badly, I'm going to cry. Like a legit cry. I'll feel so bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wanted. Um, let Let me show you the thing. I guess. Wait. Wait. Okay. So. This is like a whole speech that I wrote down and ah, operating it with one hand is just, it's so hard. Wait a second. 
Wait a second. I almost got it. This is the little something extra. Um, an infinity sign uh, necklace to symbolize, you know, infinity, blah blah. And, and cliche, I'm so fucking sappy. I'm so sappy. And the ring itself. Boy, the ring itself. Okay, so we, we, um, we don't know their ring size, so we had to guess. Likely we got it wrong, but the ring itself, um, it's, it's aesthetic as fuck, but it's not your standard, like, promise ring, I guess. Uh, and we picked out, like, a very, um, nice box from Amazon and we waited until the box arrived and like whatever so this is looks like a very standard box like ring box right but fuck, fuck open ah. this is how it looks like when you open it and this is the ring it's a coffin yeah, I probably got the ring size wrong. Oops. It's a coffin uh, to symbolize, like, not till death, but, like, after death, too, you know? Like, when we die, when both of us die, they're still stuck with us. Like, we're, we're, we'll still be together. They're stuck with us forever. I hope they know that. So, well, if they don't know that, they will in a moment. Um, scared. Terrified, actually. Still unsure if I should do it or if I should wait. But I think we've waited long enough, you know, it's been years. We've been planning this for months, kind of getting impatient. Um, there is another part to this whole ordeal, but uh, that item didn't arrive yet, and I don't feel like waiting for it to arrive because it's from Etsy, and Etsy always takes fucking forever. Uh, so yeah, so we'll do it with what I have currently and hope and pray to God that it goes well. I'll update you soon. I didn't die. And he wasn't upset. So I call this a success. I did get his ring size wrong, just like I thought. Um, here, here it is on his hand. And, uh, yeah, um, if you remember, like, if you watched yesterday's vlog, uh, we wanted to do it yesterday, but yesterday didn't work out, so we did today, like, I... I said fuck it and I'm like husband is fronting I'm fronting let's just fucking do it and we did it and uh, for ourselves we're going to buy a necklace with the same exact coffin uh, like a black little obsidian coffin or onyx I just the fucking stones I don't know um what you can put them <laughs> I want to try it on uh, Don't, please, if the ring gets stuck. It won't get stuck. It's your size. Still feels a little loose. This is my hand. This is the ring on my hand. 
doesn't really fall off, but it does feel kind of loose. It's okay. I need it in child size. <laughs> so yeah, so we will either get, I guess, the same exact ring with this size, because apparently it's my size. Uh, and you can be rougher than this. I don't want to be. He took the ring off. Um, so either a ring or a necklace. It's just that we use our hands a lot, especially at work, so... Maybe I'll glue it to my finger. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, yeah, so I consider today a success. Uh, if there will be anything else to film in the evening or something, we will. Otherwise, this is the end of today's vlog, so see you guys sometime, whenever. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>